Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. Um, today I'm going to show you a really cool new product that's uh, going to be coming out soon from Araram, which is uh, they also make Wombot. Um, I was very lucky enough to get one of the prototypes for their new large form, uh, large form printer called the Modus. Um, this printer is 16 inches by 16 inches by 24 inches, so it's a bit of a beast. It uses an acrylic or Lexan bed, so there's no heated bed, but it's fine because I only print PLA anyway. And um, yeah, I mean, this thing is huge. So I don't know if you can see this well. This is the, um, the Spock tribute hand that came out after his death. That's at 100%. This print is at 300%. So you can see it's as big as my head. Check out the quality. Now this is a very long print. That was um, about 20 hours. I did it at 250 micron and um, the printer also came with a, a 0.80 mil nozzle but I changed it out to a 0.40 mil nozzle just for a little bit more detail. Uh, it runs at about 50 to 60 millimeters per second and um, let's go and have a look at the printer. Okay, sorry for the wide, wide angle, but as you can see, it's a huge printer. Uh, the one over here is my 10 inch Wombot, which is 10 by 10 by uh, 13 or 14 inches, I believe. Now this big bad boy here is 16 by 16 by about 23 inches. So that, that's um, comparable to probably the, uh, the G-Max 1.5 that Joel uses, except this is going to be much cheaper. Uh, the projected or estimated retail price for this will be around 2000 I'm pretty sure that's Australian, so you could expect to pick one of these up for 15, 16, 1700 US, something like that. Now it's got a few unique features. Um, you can see here, like I said before, the Lexan bed. Uh, it's got a nice cable management system here, which is in through a chain, so it doesn't um, dangle. And another unique feature is it uses belts for the Z-axis instead of the standard uh, lead screws. Okay, that's a bit closer, so you should be able to see it now. Uh, it's got an MK8 all-metal hot end, which is a very proven design and um, as you'll see from some of my upcoming prints and all of the ones that I did on the previous one but um, the quality is ridiculously good I don't believe it's going to be any better than the um, the E3D V6 which I've previously had and tested I find this to be just as good another really cool feature of this is it's implemented the new BL touch sensor here hopefully you can see that now that's a auto level probe for the bed because Lexan's not going to be as flat as glass. So I've set this up to do 25 probe points across the bed. So 555, 555, 555 and 555. So that's going to produce a digital map of the bed flatness and then compensate by adjusting the, uh, the Z axis to ensure a perfectly layer uh, level first layer and then continual level print. You can see here I've got my GoPro mounted for what I, for my time lapses, which you'll see coming up soon. And um, yeah, this is a very, very exciting new printer from Wombot. I hope um, it'll be released soon so you can get a chance to buy one, but I'm loving this thing. The, the size of the prints is just ridiculously huge. So now there's two big YouTubers on YouTube now with big printers, myself and Joel. Hopefully, yeah, you'll see some big prints coming up. And if you've got any suggestions for uh, future big prints, please let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like huge things, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And I've also got uh, Patreon accounts. If you wish to donate monthly, um, that just goes into filament and other goodies to review and to give away as prizes. Anyway, I hope you like this video. There'll be plenty more to come on this printer, plenty of time lapses and photos of the prints. 
The one I'm printing now is a um, Terminator bust, uh, part human, part robot. So it's not the whole robot skull. This side is battle damaged, so you'll see it when I do the time lapse in the video on that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.